second video on numericals and artificial neural networks. The next question is to implement and function using the perceptron network for bipolar inputs and targets. So here the input is going to be bipolar. In the previous numerical we saw the input is binary, that is either a one or a zero. If it is bipolar, it is either one or minus one. Again, we are solving for and with, so group table remains the same except binary changes to bipolar. So when both the inputs are one one, my output is going to be one. For all the other values, my output is going to be minus one. So let us look at the structure first. I have two input neurons because any AND gate has two inputs and one output. So this is my AND gate x1, x2, and this is my y. 1 is the bias value, bias is B. W1, W2 are the weights. Initial assumption is W1 is equal to W2 is equal to bias is equal to 0. So all the values are in B set to 0. Theta that is the threshold is also set to 0 and the learning rate alpha is set to 1. So first thing that you need to do is make this tabular column in which you have x1, x2 that is a group table. C is the target, the actual output that you want. 1 is the bias, 1 is going to remain same for all the inputs, 1 does not change. Y in is the net input that we calculate here. So the output neuron is going to have two parts. One is the summation part and then is the activation function part. So uh, y in we calculate the summation of the inputs using the equation that we have seen previously. Y is the output that we are going to get by calculation using this network. Delta W1, Delta W2 and Delta bias are the change in the weights. W1, W2 and bias are the previous weights. So initially weights since they are 0, I have set all the initial weights to 0. I have x1, x2, I know all the four different values, I know the target value also. The first thing that I will do is I will calculate y in. How do you calculate y in? You know the equation y in is equal to bias plus x1, w1 plus x2, w2. All the weights and bias are initially 0, x1 here is 1, x2 is also 1, so I will calculate y in. y in is 0. Next, we apply activation function. So, output neuron, as I again said, has two parts. First is summation, second is applying the activation function. So, summation is done, y in is 0. I'll apply activation functions on it. So, y in, function of y in is my output y. This is 1 if y in is greater than 0 because my theta or my threshold value is 0 here. If it, if it is, is equal to 0, if it is 0 and it is minus 1 if it is less than 0. So these are my three values. What is my y in here? It is 0. Since my y in is 0, the second equation gets satisfied. So the output or y is going to be 0. Now this is the output that I have received in the neural network. But what was my target output? I wanted 1 in AND gate when both the inputs are 1. So is my target matching my actual output? No, since P is not equal to Y, we will change the weights. And how do you change the weights? This is the equation. Delta W1 is equal to alpha, that is a learning rate, into C, the target, and into X1. Delta W2 is alpha T, X2. Delta V is alpha into T. I calculate all the values. All the values are 1. So this is my change in the weights. So my delta W1, delta W2, and delta V4, all three become 1. Now, what are my new weights? So, W1 mu is equal to W1 old plus delta W1. W2 mu is equal to W2 old plus delta W2. And new bias, bias also changes, is equal to old bias plus the change in the bias, delta V. So, initial weights were 0. Now, the change in the weights are all 1. So, I'll add 1 here. And my new weights become 1, 1 and 1. So, my new weights here are 1, 1 and 1. Similarly, you solve for all the four combinations and get the output. So this is how we complete one epoch. First epoch gets completed. Then you continue this for second epoch. So the second epoch means you again give all the four different combinations of x1 and x2 with the initial weights and you calculate. When do you stop changing the weights? You stop changing the weights when your t, your target becomes equal to your output y and the year we have no change in the weights for the entire range of the epoch 
if your target is equal to y then you don't change the weight so just say this dot 